Welcome to the 14th Unity for J online vigil for WikiLeaks publisher Julian Assange. I'm Joe Laurier, the editor in chief of Consortium News. Julian Assange is a wanted man because he's published classified information that reveals crimes and corruption of very powerful people around the world, not just in the US. Those people want to stop him and get revenge. Well, thanks very much indeed uh, for joining us uh, today, In So you've been identified by the government in this research as being a Russian bot, are you? Uh, that is a 100% total lie and complete fabrication by the UK government. If you've just spent nearly an hour doing a detailed negotiation, and it was quite a hard negotiation to put the ground rules out, because they didn't want to agree to this stuff, like, how can you spend 50 minutes negotiating with somebody about the ground rules for an interview and then get called a Russian bot as their first line on the bloody interview? It's crazy! I mean, what, what are these people got in their heads, you know? Um, and apparently the DNC data is out there now. Um, they were looking at the Guccifer 2 um, copy of uh, the the, um, the leaks, <laughs> the emails, I should say. Um, and so what they have found um, in the metadata, and it's very, very, a very simple concept. When you format a hard drive or a USB stick, you've got to choose a format. So one that might be compatible with a, an Apple operating system or a PC. Now there's one um, cross-platform way to format a drive, and that's called FAT32. Um, so that means you can read it uh, equally well on both Mac and PC. So in the metadata, there is there are traces of the FAT32 formatting of the device, which is even more solid evidence that the hack is uh, BS. Is that we can prove that there were no hacks of those DNC emails. And we can prove that for three reasons. First off, NSA, by its own admission, collects everything. If there were a hack over the internet, NSA would have it. Looks like they don't have anything. Secondly, Guccifer 2.0, <laughs> a fraud. A fraud from the get-go and we can prove it from forensics. Thirdly, we have been saying, well, we've been saying for over a year that it was a leak, not a hack. In other words, a leak with a thumb drive uh, with direct access into the DNC computers or, or server, not a hack over the internet. But there's no link to WikiLeaks. There's no link to Russia. I mean, if they had any collusion, they had any collusion with WikiLeaks or collusion with Russia or contact with Russia, they would have put it in the indictment and they've got nothing, absolutely nothing. If you can't prove, if you can't figure out or document how WikiLeaks got these emails, you got nothing. Roger Stone is a fabulist. Roger Stone is a pathological liar. And Roger Stone is just not happy unless he's the center of attention. And he wasn't the center of attention in this in this scandal. And so he inserted himself in it. He lied at several different stages to the wrong people, as it turned out, and now found himself with seven felony indictments. He opened his mouth one too many times and um, he's gonna go to prison for it. Tremendous amount of high profile, particularly in, certainly in the UK, and I think it's also true in the United States, we've had no end of cases of very high profile page one arrests of people on conspiracy to commit terrorist charges, Muslim people particularly. Um, and then on page one when they're arrested and then when they're found guilty two years later, found not guilty two years later, that's on page 24 if you're lucky. And, you know, I think we, when we go back and think about Julian being in the Ecuadorian embassy and, and the rollback of progressive governments in Ecuador and throughout Latin America and, and Trump trying to do the same once again uh, in, in Venezuela, we see what's at stake. Um, the people who have defied empire, who have said no to the empire, who have tried to stand for self-determination like the former Ecuadorian government, they become a target. And, and part of their crime is to give safe haven to, uh, to Julian. And let me just quote uh, from the first paragraph of the story here. The special counsel, Robert Mueller, revealed Friday the most direct link yet 
between the Trump campaigns and WikiLeaks parallel efforts to use democratic material stolen by Russians to damage the election campaign of Hillary Clinton. Now, the yellow journalism and the media malpractice just in the opening graph is quite, quite priceless. So first of all, uh, by trumpeting that this is the most direct link yet, we may clearly deduce that all of the other links that have been bandied about and presented to us as the conclusive link of collusion were bullshit. <laughs> I think the difference between today and yesteryear, and when I talk about yesteryear, I'm talking about even 20 years ago, not the 15th century, is that we do have the tools uh, of fighting back against the dominant narrative that didn't exist in the past. The fact that we do have uh, the capacity to have this kind of online vigil, the fact that we have, have the ability to to sort of go against the grain and against the dominant narrative using new technologies. Yes, they're monitored. Yes, they're surveilled. Yes, they're limited. Yes, we're, we're censored. But still, we have opportunities that didn't quite exist before. They've been driving half the population totally insane. They're totally delusional over it. They've been fed this for nearly three years now, and nearly half the population is clinically insane over it. <laughs> I'm not joking about this. You go on Reddit and stuff like that, the people are adamant that Trump is, is Putin's puppet and whatever. They're still putting this out. There's absolutely no evidence of any Trump collusion or, or, or a Russian influence or anything. And now, Trump illegally, with the height of imperial arrogance, saying, I've picked a new president. I have a new president for you, Venezuela, and you, Maduro, don't have the right to close American, uh, the American embassy or expel our diplomats because you're no longer the president. We've determined that you are no longer the president. I mean, the height of imperial arrogance. And so WikiLeaks has performed some very valuable functions. Uh, over the last 10 years. And I think it's important to keep our focus on what that means to uh, real journalism, to a free media that can report uh, based on documents that have been leaked or otherwise acquired. And if we allow our government to stomp on Julian Assange, uh, we will be next. We're coming to the end of today's vigil, the 14th. And I want to ask Ian to say a few final words if he has. And I really appreciate he stayed with us the entire time. Ian is a real human being, as you can see. <laughs> Our video, please. <laughs> That's like a wave and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Special software. Special software. <laughs> <laughs>